Hi everyone, this is Ali again and I'm just going to talk about the one of the problems that all the Samsung Galaxy model has uh, when you try to root your phone or flash or them to something else and it comes to a, um, a black page saying kernel is not Android enforcing so that means your phone is com completely um, done uh, you need to this way you need to get it reflashed and uh, custom ROM to get that you need to if you don't want to lose your data you would need to get the same exactly PDA version the version of your ROM that is already on your phone you need to get the same version of that ROM from internet or anywhere that you can uh, download there are so many websites once you get that if you flash the exactly same version of custom ROM on your phone you will not lose your data that way you will save you know all your data and then you'll be good to go now downloading the files uh, if you see I've, uh, I've attached this picture here on the on the side you can see where I marked around it this this is the version the firmware version the custom room versions you need to choose the country and then you know get the exactly version that you want and download it once you download this version it will come up to as a uh, vendor file you would need to extract this uh, file as you once you extract this file it will be on your desktop um, you would also need uh, Odin 3 for this one any uh, latest version on the Odin you know to, to flash the file onto your phone you could also use some other like Octopus or ZX3 boxes software but that's not necessary this Odin is one of the job you see I've downloaded this one this is exactly model that is already on my phone so I've extracted the phone you can see here the five files here you don't have to do flash all the files but mostly yes you do if one flash file doesn't work then you'll have to get all the flash files here on the boxes where it says APCP CSC and BL and then flash it this way it will uh, your phone will start working again if you get the same exactly model of uh, custom ROM that is already or was already on your phone you will not lose your data because it coordinates with the existing um, custom ROM on your phone and it will just boot it you know, it will force boot it and this way you will not lose your data other than that this this video can be used also if your phone is stuck on its logo or boot loop or any other problem that software crash you can also do the same thing in here so this way uh, you'll see you you get your phone back to running having said that um, you can download the the uh, firmware from so many websites around you know I, I mainly use Sam mobiles and there are a few others I've got also boxes that I can download from from them you know uh, but but it's so uh, so optional once this has been done it will it'll take up to 10 15 minutes well once it's done to the end that means your phone is back to normal work and if you got the same version that your phone is back to work and without losing data other than that you can just flash any custom room on your phone to get your phone back to work this is how you flash them odin 3 any any odin would do you would need to make sure they are installed your phone is installed in download mode uh and then you know the, all the drivers installed and you can see on the Odin underneath the system underneath the green bar there's a blue bar it says calm that's that means your phone is connected if that is not blue that means your phone is not connected so you need to make sure your phone is on download mode and then connected to your phone this will detect and it, you know and then pull up all the flash files on the right hand tab bars and click start this is how you get your phone back to working from uh this uh particularly problem or if it's any other problem that's uh, not working your phone so thank you very much guys this was a very quick and uh, useful video for you guys i uh, hope you liked it and please uh, subscribe and share my channel thank you very much bye